Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of FTB Ultimate Reloaded. In this episode, I get a handful of things that I want to do. Yes, I do. So, let's talk about what's going on since the last episode, because there has been a couple of live streams. Twitch slash Mr. Spell M-I-S-T-E-R, Casey Davis, if you want to follow me over there. So, I've set this up. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to automate the production of honeycomb like this. As you can see, we've only got one meadow drone there, but these are slowly filling up because it's going to feed back into these hives first. Um, oh, that one's gone. So, there we go. Uh, I did also get my hands on a tropical bee. Uh, here we go, look, we got a pristine... Oh, wait, that's mythical. Here we are, look, we got a tropical queen. Uh, and I would like to make use of those today as well. Uh, but unfortunately, these don't work in this environment. It's too cold. They're all huddled together. So we'll maybe have to go off in a direction to try and get that working. Uh, and I also set up individual tree farms over here. As you can see, we've got a uh, oakwood one. We've got a birchwood one. We've got spruce wood. We've got jungle wood. And we've got acacia. And lastly, dark oak. And all of these are coming over here, as you can see. We got some really good ones going off here. Uh, I'm actually glad we've got jungle wood now because that means that I can... Oh, that is already locked. So we've got all of these done. We've got a sludge boiler here, which right now doesn't have any energy in it, but it will do soon. We are piping all the sludge from these machines all the way down and into here. I've got four of these. These are actually, they've run out of coal, so we're going to have to put some coal in them. They're not self-sufficient yet, but that's something we'll work on a little bit later on and um, whatnot, yeah. So this episode, what I want to work on is possibly three things. The first thing I want to work on is a little bit more of a power source for this because I would like this to be fully automated and I want to get rid of these thermodynamos. Not thermodynamos, what are they? They're steam dynamos. Yes, the steam dynamos. So this is just using the exact same that we used over at this tree farm. This tree farm is now redundant. It's gone. We're not using it anymore. There are still some bits and bobs over here that I need to move, but we'll get to that later on. I want to get an actual building put together for this. And one of the things that we are going to need to get into power... Uh, oh, I've just realized I don't want to get into... I don't want to get into sorting this power out because I need something for this that I don't actually have access to just yet. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make a tank because if we have a little look at the power that I want to use I want to use windmills just to sort of generate for that area and uh, this is actually relatively cheap we've got this we have these sails these are really easy to get but it's these windmill blades they require treated wood which requires uh, a use of creosote oil uh, around any sort of wood and we need creosote oil uh, that's that's the problem here, and unfortunately, there's no coke oven from Immersive Engineering in here. The only coke oven we have is from Railcraft, and that's a little bit on the expensive side. So let me just first of all show you where I've been, because we haven't ventured out a little bit. So I went to the north here. I got some birch wood around about here. There was some birch wood involved in these trees. Uh, then I carried on further up. I used a biome finder on the internet to find out where biomes were. And while it wasn't exact, because obviously this is modded and that does vanilla, it did provide me a general direction to go in. Uh, this is a dark oak forest here, so I got my dark oak wood. There's also some birch wood in there. And this here is a jungle. And that's where I went to get the tropical bees. And I'll show you how to do that later on, if we manage to get into that in this episode. And then over in this direction, I went over in this direction, all the way down here to find a desert and some acacia wood. And got myself some acacia wood. And the rest was just found here, there, and everywhere. We've got spruce here, oak here, and the likes. So I've not included modded trees in this yet. I may do that in the future, but for right now, I'm going to focus primarily on just the vanilla trees. I also did enchant my tools a little bit more. Uh, I did find a really good way of getting XP. So if you get this enchant called Insight on your pick, I don't know if I went over this in a video or on a live stream, so I'm going to go over it again just here. But if you have Insight on your pick and you mine something like coal, uh, there's actually no coal. I thought there was a little bit of coal there. But uh, if you mine something with insight, you get an insane amount of XP for it. Uh, mining a vein of coal is like mining a vein of quartz. In fact, it's even better. Um, is there any coal on the walls down here? 
No. Okay, well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So, let's get into this um, Coke oven from Railcraft, which I've... Actually, this is going to be my first time, I believe, using this. So, it's brick and sand, and I did spend some time on a live stream getting some brick made up and getting a bunch of sand made up as well. So, let's make this up, and I need three for the bottom. Uh, no, I need nine for the bottom. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Well, I don't need twenty-seven. I actually just need 26 because it says hollow. So I imagine that means that I don't need one in the middle. So we've got that. So let's actually just grab some coal because I am going to need some coal. And let's just jump down here. So I've not used, like I said, I've not used this Coke oven before. So let's try it for the first time. There's a little bit of lag when you place one of these blocks down. And it does say hollow. So let's do that. Oh, brilliant. So we put the coke oven in there. This actually has an inbuilt tank, which is good. It could have 64,000 buckets. That's actually pretty good. And we could put a bucket in there. So uh, my dog's whining at the moment. So I'm going to go see what that is and let this do for a little bit. And I'll be back with you in just a moment. So that's doing up. And my dog was bringing in a stick off the garden. She has, I've got a new dog. I shouldn't say she, I've got a new dog. But say he. And he has decided that everything on the garden looks so much better if chewed to bits on the dining room floor. So I have to keep going and chucking things back outside. <laughs> it drives me crazy. But he's coming along, he's coming along. So one thing that I wanted to know about this farm is this is framed walls. So if we just have a little look, uh, we can look here. We got framed walls uh, here, which are made by just using framed blocks, which are just sticks. So it's relatively cheap and relatively easy. Now, I did originally continue this design here. And unfortunately, these harvesters, they they decide that they like to mine this block. Now, these are using tin range add-ons. So I'm actually going to go over here to one that's uh, only got a couple of trees in it, like this one. Uh, and if I go show working area, you can see that the working area is only inside of here. It's actually not outside of here. And this is set to just gathering trees to not gather anything else. But unfortunately, it decides that, you know what, I actually do want to gather other stuff. Uh, so, like, if the tree grows touching it, it, I think it decides that the fences, because it's wood, it's technically wood. <laughs> so, I think it sees it as a tree and therefore decides that it looks much, 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 much better, you know, in here. <laughs> so, I've gone with framed walls. I didn't have enough birch wood when I did this to do all of them, although we're getting to some birch wood now. So the creosaur earth is doing up. I did say I'd be back when that was done up, but I thought, you know what, I have a couple of other things that I want to do. And we could finally go with what I want to do, uh, which was these spruce fences here. Uh, did I not? Oh, I grabbed oak wood. I grabbed oak wood. I didn't grab spruce wood. Okay. So if you remember, I wanted to use these, but I couldn't find birch. Uh, that's just sort of hovering up there. Maybe that'll get it later. But the power, I did put some coal in these. The power is just sort of not doing its its best at the moment. To hold up, we are struggling a little bit when it comes to power. But like I said, I do want to get on that. Maybe we'll be able to get some done this episode, but I don't think we will. Uh, let's make up this. I do want to use these because I do really like these ones. I think these ones look really, really cool. And I do want to replace those, but that's that's for a live stream. So let me go and sleep and I will be back with you in just a little bit. Well, we've slept the night away, and now I want to get back on this. So, a couple of interesting things about these bees is they don't work if they don't have daylight above them, but we can kind of, we can kind of get around that. I just realized that I'm actually gonna need some, some, what you call it, some dirt, that's the word. I, why did I forget that word? Why was it escaping me? Yes, I do apologize if you can hear my dog in the background. She, he, he doesn't like being on his own, but unfortunately I can't have him in the room when I'm recording because he he likes to be very fussy and get in the way. So unfortunately I do have to put him outside the room. He's not outside outside, but he is outside in the uh, in the dining room and kitchen. He is with the other dog, so he's not on his own. Uh, and he's not really a puppy anymore, but he is only like three months old, so he's still technically a puppy. But he's quite a big puppy. He's a Labrador. Golden Labrador. Which I really love. I think he's a really pretty dog, but... He is a handful, and one thing that, I that I'm that i trying to teach my dogs, which is what I've taught my daughter as well, 
is that just because somebody raises their hand doesn't mean you're going to get hit. I don't believe in hitting, I don't believe in violence. Uh, and so I keep raising my hand and bringing it down and scruffing up there, like behind the ears, you know, scratching behind the ears, ruffling up under the chin, and getting them, giving them a fuss for it, and letting them know that that actually doesn't mean anything negative. You're not going to get hit, I don't believe in that. And the pups, the pups really get in it. Pups really decided to get it. Only she's decided now that she doesn't want to wait for the hand to come down to rock and throw. She wants to jump up, and she's a very excited little pup. And I don't know. She's she's coming along. She's a good dog. She's a good dog. He's a good dog. He's a good dog. Huh? I tell you, I've never. I, I had a dog when I was a teenager, but I never liked it. <laughs> but I, I I got a dog a couple of months back, a female dog, and I'm so used to saying she. I keep calling this 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 dog a she. And it's actually a he, the new one. But um, he is more of a handful than than the, the female dog. I mean, technically, the the male dog's my wife's, but where she lives, she can't have she can't have pups. She can't have kids. Not kids. Can't have pups. Can't have kids. Words. Are they escaping me that badly today? So basically, where she lives, she's she's not allowed pets. So the the pup is technically hers, but it's it's staying with me for now. So we're going to do that, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to go up one, uh, and then we're going to go one like so. And I do want to take this out a little bit more, so let's do that, because I do want this to come out, I want there to be two sides to this aviary that I'm going to build. Now I do know that you can build bigger aviaries, you can build multi-block aviaries, but I've not looked into it, so I don't actually know how to do it. And like I said, I'm just starting to get into bees at the minute. And so I don't want to, I don't want to overcomplicate things, and I do want to just make sure that we get some honeycomb. So we want one, two, three, four, five, place. So we've got that, and now what we need to do is we need to pretty much uh, repeat this setup we've got going on here. Now unfortunately my house took a blow from a creeper that didn't actually show up on the map, so I don't know if the map was bugged or maybe I just didn't catch it. But I have noticed with bees that we get an awful lot of flowers. Like, there wasn't this many flowers around here. We have loads of flowers. So it looks like they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So, what we're going to do is, because these need daylight, these actually need daylight, what I want to do is I want to I wanna make sure that the back of these is like this, is this. But we'll, we'll put those in in just a little minute. Uh, so the first thing that I actually want to do is I want to come over here and I want to grab these pipes. So let's do that. Let's grab these like so and bring them over there. And I'll show you exactly the design. I don't think we're going to get around to being able to put up the windmills this episode, unfortunately. But uh, we'll see. At least you. At least we got some stuff done. Uh, and we'll. The main focus of this episode is to automate the production of honeycomb because it does take a while to get and we are going to need it and I feel like my inventory is full no my inventory is not full so let's grab you and let's grab you okay so now what we could do is we could grab these bees and our queens don't stack remember but all the others do so we do actually have enough let's put these in this chest here for now the bees uh, is that that can't be all the honeycomb that I have I must have not picked up the honeycomb because I had like 30 some honeycomb in there. Oh look, it, it, it remembers what's in the barrels. Oh, it remembers what's in the barrels. That's awesome. Okay. So, the first thing that we want to do is we want to pipe this behind here and into this area here. So, we'll put this. Is this the, this the honeycomb? Um, no, that's the drone. Okay. So, the honeycomb. Oops, definitely not what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually put that honeycomb in our inventory in here. So we've got 32. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get these these apiaries and put them on here. And basically tell it that we need to extract from here. Now, I think this is going to try and extract everything, but uh, I can't quite remember what, what I did here. So let's just click ignore, ignore, ignore. And ignore. Well, I have been defeated and brought down. Dropped to my knees when hope ran out. Oh, they gave me the puppy dog eyes, and now there's three of us in my tiny small office. 
No, I've got the both of the both of them like to lay right under my feet under my desk. There isn't enough room there. Pongo. Pongo, my man. You can't play. Oh. My dogs won the fight. They, 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 they won the fight. They're now officially in here. So we need to make up some more apiaries because I just realized we've only got three because I did lose some thanks to the um, thanks to the what you might call it. And I do need some more. We need a lot more stuff. <laughs> Let's go and get some more of this stuff that we need. Maybe I should have uh, got those before I bought you black. Black? Before I bought you black. Uh, I haven't got any black. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, no. Nope. That's just obsidian. No black wool. Before I bought you back. I tell you words. I don't know what it is with words today. I just haven't been very good with them over the past couple of days. It's like they, they keep escaping me. Uh, wait, what are you chewing? Wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, you can chew that. So, my daughter has a fad with um, My Little Pony. She loves My Little Pony, or she did anyway. She's kind of getting off of it. But she had like all these My Little Pony toys at one point. And my dog found one in the garden. It was, I believe it's Pinkie Pie, if I'm remembering rightly here. I believe it is Pinkie Pie, although I may be wrong on that. I don't know the characters that well. But uh, my daughter says it's My Little Pony. My daughter says it's Pinkie Pie of My Little Pony. And the poor thing had a head and four legs. Now it has none. The two dogs were fighting over it and pulled the head off the other day, which I found hysterically funny. Um... My daughter's like, that's not fair, Pinkie Pie needs his head. And I'm la I'm laughing, camera's shaking, daughter's laughing, I'm laughing, dogs are dismembering my little pony. All is good. Okay, so what was I doing? Yes, we were setting this Avery up. I need more Averys. Uh, how do I make Averys? I think we make them in here, don't we? Uh, I got this impregnated casing. And if I remember rightly... No, nope, Avery doesn't begin with a, whatchamacallit. No? Am I just, I feel like I'm spelling this wrong. Um, oh, I'll give up with this word. I do know how to spell it, but for some reason today my mind just is not working with me. Uh, we've got them in our inventory. It's because it's an apiary, not an aviary. An aviary is a bird pen. Would help if you actually try to spell the word that you're trying to spell. Uh, it's not there. It's still not there. It's an I. I put the I the first time around when I tried to spell it as an aviary. Okay, so I need slabs and planks. Slabs and where's the plankage? Plankage should be in here for Pinkie Pie. Okay, we'll just make seven of those because why not? We, we it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. Okay, it'll be better time by time I get out of there. Oh, we, we're on our second bed. My first bed is le I left accidentally all the way over there, so it's sort of just chilling. So let's put some of these on, and I think I'm gonna need some more of those. But uh, we won't worry too much about it. Where's, where's my apiaries? A one, two, a three, a four, and a five. So, we could put this hole here. Like, who would put such a hole here? Like, who, who's responsible for this? I tell you, Kita, Pongo, did you do this? So, the first day I got Pongo, I gave him some doggy treats. Never again. He's perma banned from doggy treats. <laughs> the guy had gas, and I mean bad gas. And I'm in this small room. Like, my office is, like, maybe. 12 feet by about 8 feet maybe it's it's perfectly big enough for one person and what I need it for it's not big enough for me and two dogs but they love being in here and then my wife was over the other day and she's watching it we're watching Walking Dead together there's me my wife both dogs and Scragyard which is the big huge teddy bear that my Labrador loves so we've got these together and I think what I want to do now is I want to start working on the item ducts on the rear end of this. So, actually, no, let's, let's put in the, the, the bees first. Let's put in the bees, the bees and the birds. So, I want meadow drone. One, two, three, four, five. That'll do, that'll do. 
So if we put in you in there and we do 16 of you, that'll do. Put you in there and we do half of you. We put you in there and we do half of you. And this should work. I need half of those actually. So it can't work because there's no flowers nearby. That's fine. We could we can make this work. Flower. Problem solved. Yep, problem solved. Okay. So that's not dragging them out. Okay, cool. And what I need next is the Actually, I'm going to put a another item barrel there and then another one on top. So let's grab this and nope, not that. Ah, back in a moment. So welcome back and I'm bringing these up now, just one more and I'm going to put some in at the back as well. So I went ahead and I did these, my dog was whining to go out so I let it out. And we've got these set to extract on the top and the bottom, you could probably just use one but I wanted it to mirror. And basically this is just going to pull stuff out of here and try to put them into these places here. And that tickles key to stop licking my foot. <laughs> so we've got this and I've got to connect these up at the back actually. Right like so. And I think what I actually want to do with this is I was going to put it here. But I haven't got anything to put in this middle barrel yet. But I wanted it to be sort of like even. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring this just out one like so. And connect it up there and connect that up like so. Just so it's connected up like so. Because what I want to do is I want to push these back one, these barrels. Because I, the more I think about this, the more I don't like them being at the front there. So we're going to pop the honeycomb barrel there and the meadow drone barrel there. And because I haven't got anything to put into to a third one, we're going to do that. And I'm going to hope that that all works and hope that I've got this all okay. So now what I want to do is I want to work a little bit on actually making this look pretty. So I think the first thing that I want to do is figure out where these beams are actually going to go on the grand scheme of things and I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a beam up there a beam up there, a beam up there and a beam up there which means that this unfortunately has to go back one but I think that should still be in range I'm not sure what the exact range of these bees are but we'll see, we'll see so we're going to bring this up uh, four in total I think and we'll bring this one up four as well bring all of these up four and then I don't want to use like I don't want to use a wood here. I don't want to use like a palette. I want you to still be able to see what's going on behind here. But I also want it to be very covered up uh, at the same time. So I'm thinking we just use these fences here, like so, just to sort of add some shape to it and some design. Because if we do this, as you can see, we're adding to it, like so. You can still see what's going on, but it's also still at the same time blocked off. So if I ever need to get in there, I can. But again, this is just the back end. We've got the front end to do. Let's do the sides as well. Oh, that connects to the AP area. I'm going to have to remember that. So let's do that. But we do face the issue of what to do on top. So we've got this done. Let's put this here. Uh, we may go in and add some wood underneath it. I don't know. But the issue is, what do we do on top? So we've got these pens all coming in here. And I think that, that it might actually be nice to sort of just add that in there like so there we go i think that looks nice that looks definitely nice so the first thing that i want to do is i want to grab some i think spruce stairs is what i want to use uh do i have spruce wood on me nope and this is exactly why i got the wob farm so we could use wood because i plan to build the base primarily out of wood and using wood for it so i wanted all different types so we could Sort of choose which one we wanted as and when. Ooh, leg spike. Okay, so we want spruce wood. We'll just grab a stack. Uh, do I have my food on me? Yes, I did. Several times I put my food in the chest while I was streaming. So, kind of, kind of a little bit of an annoyance, really. So, let's just go ahead and make ourselves some stairs. We don't need that many. But, of course, by making stairs, we do face one issue in a moment. So... I want this to actually look relatively nice, but that also means that we need to somehow put a roof on this thing. So if I put the stairs here like so, that looks nice. Now it doesn't look as nice as it can look because there are some things that I do want to 
add to this and take away from this. But for right now, it serves the purpose that I want it to. The only trouble is, we've got to put something above this because it needs to be open. This needs sky access. Where did my queen go? Did my queen get pulled out and put into one of these? Nope. Queen, queen, queen. No queen. No queen? Where did it, where, where, where's my queen? What's my... What are you doing over here? Why are you pulling out... Oh, I know why it's pulling out my queen. Ah. So, we're going to have to make a small adjustment to this. It's pulling out the queen because the queen goes into the other side. So, let's just... Uh, we're going to have to disconnect these until I've got ones to put over that side. So, uh, let's just disconnect them like so. And what we'll have to do is we'll have to connect this up uh, like this. So these don't actually connect. I mean, that's fine. That's that's an easy enough fix. That's an easy enough fix. Okay, cool. That's that done. So now what I can do is I go ahead and take out the the queen. Where was it? Ah, oh, man, I forget my own head sometimes if it was screwed on. There we go. And put them back over this side. Put the, the princess there. Uh, put the queen there and we just pop that in there and this will obviously start making its way over here as and when it's done okay so we can just have a quick sleep now the last thing that i want to do is i want to deal with with the issue that we face if i was to take a slab so let's take some spruce slabs and let's uh let's pill it up using oak wood oak wood would be nice and let's do that so if I were to say, you know what, I actually want to cover this up with spruce wood. So if we were to go with a little bit of an overhang like so, just to make it look nice. And I was to decide that, you know what, I'm going to bring this all the way over. If I start to put it over the, the beehive here, look. As you can see, the beehive is going to say sky obstructed. And it's not going to let us do that. So that was one problem that I faced. But then I had a little bit of an idea. I had a little bit of an idea. Let's see if I can grab that through there. I can. And the idea that I have is using something called carpenter's blocks. Or rather, framed blocks. And I do have quite a few of these that I did make up prior. I wanted, Well, I think I made them up prior. I should still have them. And it should be... Is it in here? Uh, nope. In here? Yep. So these. I'm going to need some more of these. So let's just make some up together. So it's relatively easy. It's just that. And then we just make them into slabs like so. And these these don't obstruct sky access. These actually allow us to be able to, to utilize sky access and don't actually take it away from us. So if I was to go and just mine these, I don't actually think I want these to go over here just yet. But I do want to cover up in here with them. So if I just do this... Ooh, you know what? I think I'm going to bring this up one more. Like so. So that I can then put this here. Like so. And I'm only going to put it on this one. Uh, we'll, again, we'll put it over here. And I like the idea that this is going to be slightly recessed by one. So let's give it you and you. Can I get... If I go down there, I'm not going to be able to get back up, am I? No. Ah. Kida, whatever you're doing down there, stop it. it keeps rubbing against my foot. I don't like it. Kida being my dog, of course. <laughs> okay, so if we do this and we actually decide... We actually say, you know what, let's fill this with spruce wood. Like so... What this does is this doesn't obstruct sky access, or at least it didn't when I tried it before. So we'll just double check this time around. And we get a little... I'm in this hole again. As you can see, not obstructed sky access. So, I do want to go around here and I do want to put these... Um, I think... No, I think what I want to do here 
is I want to put this on the bottom side like so. So we could just sort of bring this across and this finishes the Avery nicely. So that's that. Do that. Do that. And that. And that. And that. And lastly, that. So there's the aviary. Or apiary. I keep calling it, calling it an aviary. An aviary is what you do with birds. An apiary is bees. Okay, oops. There we go. So that's that. But there is one final thing that I want to add to this because this, I don't like the exposed pipes. And that's if we take our wood, we create ourselves some. Uh, is 32 going to be enough? And we just basically say, you know what? Actually, I don't want to do them on the bottom side. I'd rather do them on the top side. So if we do it like that, and then we go like that, it hides that. And we can do the same on the bottom, like so. Now that makes it look a little bit better, a little bit better. So let's do this here. Like so. And the idea is that I'll be able to access this to put things in. Because I still haven't put the servos on this bit yet. So I do want to make sure that we do get the servos on that bit. Now it doesn't matter about the grass underneath. I may want to change that later. But I think specifically for this it doesn't make much of a difference. Although I may come to eight that later on. But I do think what I want to do is I do want to finish this with a fence on top. I just want to add something up there to add a little bit of extra detail, I think. So there's that. And... Oh, that, that did add, but I just couldn't see it. So let's do that. And that. And that. And finally, finish off with that. So actually, no, I think what I want to finish off with is a torch. There we go. I do need one more torch, but I think that looks really, really nice. I really, really like that. So let's get a screenshot of that. Now, let's finish this episode. Because we want to go to Creosol Oil. Because I want to show you guys how you make um, treated wood. So we can go ahead and I can make some of that on stream over the next couple of days. So if we, I don't have a bucket. Do you know I end up losing more buckets than I can count? I, I feel like I always craft a bucket. But I can never remember where I keep them. Aha, two buckets. Okay, cool. So let's go down here and get, get the Creosol Oil. So, oh, we just can right-click it. So you can right-click it. As you can see, we got creosote earlier. This makes coal coke. This burns a lot longer than regular coal. But we're going to go and make ourselves some treated wood. So it's just, again, you put this in a circle. You go ahead and you take the creosote oil. And bam, you get eight of it. It does take a little bit to craft up. And, of course, for sticks, it's the same as what you'd expect. Just two like so. So I'm actually going to keep this in here for now because I do want that. we got a beehive and apiary in there. i got to remember that. Uh, we got a honeycomb. We can just toss that in here. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel and I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like and click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.